Hey, what's going on everyone out there? This is Jake James Lugo. Welcome to the channel and welcome to this brand new unboxing and impressions video. Unboxing, quote unquote. We're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars Book of Sith from Chronicle Books. I got this not too long ago together with the Star Wars Book of the Jedi from Chronicle Books as well, which is all about the Jedi and the Jedi Temple, the Jedi Way. But this one, this one is all about the Sith. <laughs> anyway jokes aside i wanted to look at this for a while because i love a lot of star wars books i love all the stuff you know diving into the lore of course i do have to mention because this is part of legends a lot of this stuff is not canon to the mainline stuff from disney star wars which is a little unfortunate because it would make things a little bit easier to kind of you know keep track of but this one is all about the dark side. This one is all about the Sith. So we're talking Emperor Palpatine, we're talking Darth Maul, Darth Vader, uh, Darth Malak, all types of Sith that have been part of Star Wars lore. Uh, let's just dive into it. And as we're going through this, you know, let me know what's up in the comment section down below. Talk to me with some of your favorite Star Wars characters, some of your favorite Sith, of course, because we're talking about all the Sith in here. Uh, but talk to me about that down below in the, in the comment section. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let's get right into this. Uh, so the way these books are done are done in a way where they're like have this little voice or notes that are from in universe so basically we see a little note here by luke skywalker so years later after the fall of darth sidious luke skywalker comes into contact or discovers some of these different books which are all the books that chronicle books have uh made uh each recovered text has its own texture and uh what is it in size we'll never know what the complete book looked like uh these pages are, are all that remain so exactly yeah so he's come into these to contact with this book years later after Darth Sidious has fallen, after the Empire has fallen. Uh, so these books have been around since before the Age of the Republic, so before the Clone Wars. Uh, this one says here, Emperor Palpatine had many secrets in his uh, storehouse on Waylon, including a chamber that went undetected until 24 ABY. So far, only Leia, Mara, and I know about this book. Which is cool because this one mentions a lot about Mara Jade because it's pulling from Legends. For anybody that doesn't know, Mara Jade was Luke Skywalker's wife at one point. I want to make sure it's not dangerous before sharing it with the historical council. Okay, so obviously the New Republic. And there's another one in here, which I'll read here. The New Republic Intelligence wants to review this book and as a favor to Wedge and, uh, what's his name? Uh, Iela. I've agreed. I numbered the pages for, uh, what is it? R NRI's reference. Okay, the New Republic Intelligence, yeah. But anyway, it has all these different things. I'm not going to read through every single note or every single like page in here. I'm only just going to highlight a few. This one is from Darth Sidious, which has this little icon here. It's the little Darth Sidious icon. Uh, at the time I wrote these words, I hope my empire would provide limitless reach. Uh, let me read reach because again, it's so small. Limitless reach, yet I still rely on others to do my bidding. And they are so often foolish, flawed, and disappointing. <laughs> it's just exactly like a Darth Sidious' voice. So there's a bunch of stuff in here that gets into the specific historical uh, context of the Sith. Uh, you know, a lot of different things that were going on with them throughout Star Wars history. Uh, one thing I do love that I see in all these books that I've looked at so far, even though I've only reviewed one here on the channel, I've looked through a couple of the others like the Bounty Hunter book, the Smuggler's book, the Rebels book, the Imperial Handbook. I love these like images from various different points of the timeline that they reference so you get like some of this really cool imagery it kind of reminds me a little bit of a fantasy book something like out of dungeons and dragons or final fantasy in a way you know where it has like a lot of this like history within the universe but also has a ton of great insight about like the different things that they're referencing but it renders them in an awesome way so like you get like a lot of these like pre-Sith weapons or Sith weapons that were pre-lightsaber. Uh, so there's a lot of blades, a lot of cool, uh, what is it, weaponry in here that's awesome. What does it say here by Darth Sidious? It says, uh, messy and imprecise, the Lavaruk is a weapon of indiscriminate terror. That's pretty cool. The Lavaruk, which is this thing right here. It's a little small. I wish that they, maybe they were a little bit larger. But again, given that there's a lot of pages that like, you know, cover this stuff, they... The, every single thing gets highlighted. So we get a lightsaber, a dark Jedi. You get all the different rankings of like Sith acolytes or dark side acolytes. That's pretty darn cool. Sith amulets they talk about. A bunch of different ones in here and more notes. Uh, this one actually, hold on. I see a couple other things inside here. Okay, I see one thing that I didn't notice. Okay, again, let me try. Let me check see if it was in one of the other pages. It actually doesn't have a page that shows all the different 
signatures in here, which is funny because in the Jedi book that you know we've looked at here on the channel, it actually has a little kind of like key that tells you who is who, even though they're signed to different places. So this one right over here is Darth Sidious with a symbol. This one right here is Mace Windu. And I only know that because from the other book it had that little key. Uh, but it's a little hard to read. You know, the, the Sith focus on collecting treasures uh, neglect the study of the Force. It's more... It's it's one more way in which they miss the big picture. Which, again, written in... Uh, what is it? Mace Windu's voice makes a lot of sense. Let me just uh, make sure I got this focus here. But yeah, then it talks about all the different like houses, Sith holocrons... A lot of cool stuff. Yeah, is that a kyber crystal? Yeah, I believe that's a kyber crystal. That's a Sith hologram with a kyber crystal. The Jedi have received many Sith holograms, including the one uh, built by Sora Sin toward the end of her life. A lot of cool stuff, man. The Reign of the Axe. Again, a lot of Sith weapons. Sith weapons. Sith war beast creatures. A lot of really cool, cool things. So if you're into uh, dark side history or the dark side of the Force aspects... Of the Star Wars universe, this is some really cool things that's going to have a lot of insight into them. A lot of like weapons here, the Sith Lightning, so that's pretty awesome. Sith Incantations, a lot of really cool things, man. The Prophecy of the Sithari, the Sithari is another name for the Sith. I think that they were called specifically Sithari uh, before a certain time frame. The Sith Code, now this is something that's actually been mentioned in a bunch of different places. Uh, there is no emotion, there is peace. Uh, there is no ignorance, there is knowledge, uh, there is no passion, there is serenity, there is no chaos, there is harmony, uh, there is no death, there is the force. Okay, no, this is the Jedi Code. Okay, I just saw it now. The, the Sith Code is over here, okay? So this one says, peace is a lie, there is only passion. Through passion I gain strength, through strength I gain power, through power I gain victory. Through victory my chains are broken, the force shall free me. Which is, again, almost the complete opposite of what you see from the Jedi Code. Which is dark, pretty darn cool. It's like it's like a whole yin and yang thing. A lot of it's like you know it parallels. It's it's like a George Lucas says. A lot of this stuff rhymes together. So anyway, you get a whole bunch of other stuff, campaigns, insight, you know, uh, markings of different points of history. The Rim campaign talks about a whole bunch of stuff in here, which I can't wait to read through because there's a lot. Again, it says Rim campaign, all this different stuff. I'm not gonna read through all of it, but let's move on. The Rule of Two. The Rule of Two is obviously a big deal with the Sith in the Star Wars universe. The Rule of Two is that there can only be one Master and one Apprentice. And that was instituted, I believe, by Darth Bane. Because back in the day, at least back in the day within the Star Wars universe, the Sith were constantly fighting amongst each other. There was always squandering for who could be the strongest, because that's the whole point of the Sith Code, to weed out the weak and actually put forward the strongest. And they would just end up killing each other. So the, what is it, the Rule of Two had it so that way... Uh, there can only be one master, one apprentice. In which I, here we go, Darth Bane. They're getting into a lot of the Darth Bane stuff here. Which is interesting. And even has some notes from Luke Skywalker about this stuff. Uh, Kyle Katarn, one of my students, unfold, unfolded the thought bombs of Vortex and Rusan, at Rusan and freed the spirits that had been trapped inside for more than a thousand years. Yeah, again, now, because this is Legends, this is also pulling from some of the games that includes Jedi Knight, Jedi Outcast, and Jedi Academy. Probably going to pull a little bit of stuff from, uh, what is it, uh, what is it, Masters of Terras Kasi, and a few other things here and there. Again, it's Legends, so they're not limited by the canon that Disney had, because they, these books, I believe, were made a couple years, if not a little bit longer, before the Disney buyout. Selecting an apprentice, again, getting really deep into the rule of two. The Revenge of the Sith, I believe, is this where they're talking about episode three things? I'm pretty sure. Remember the code of the Sith? There's no peace, only passion. Uh, in creating a new regime, the Sith will defeat the complacency of the Jedi, and what we create will be glorious. Yeah, okay, so they're talking a little bit about that, so let me see on the side, because there's some words on the side, just so I could actually get like a, a clear thing of like what they are. Uh, Palpatine failed. My father overcame the, his master's evil. I witnessed the return of the Jedi who had fought in, in the Clone Wars. And I know that he found solace in the light of side of the Force. So, yeah, he said it. He said return of the Jedi. Now, hold on. Does Palpatine say Revenge of the Sith? The Jedi didn't survive. Master Windu and Yoda divided, uh, he divided the truth but could not stand against me. The long-delayed revenge of Darth Bane became my personal triumph. So he didn't say Revenge of the Sith, but he said Revenge of Darth Bane, but it's close enough. 
Now, here's another thing which I think is very interesting. And again, I'm going to continue moving forward because I know I'm lingering on some of this stuff. The lightsaber construction by Sith, it's a little bit different in Legends than what it was back, or at least what it, it's a little bit different than what it was back in Legends than what it is now with the canon from Disney. I don't like this idea that Disney has the kyber crystals acting sentient, like they're living stuff that you have to corrupt and like bleed, quote unquote, in order to make a red kyber crystal for a red lightsaber. Back in the day, uh, the Sith would actually construct their kyber crystals artificially. They were constructed like, it's the same way that you would construct a diamond. You know how there's artificially created diamonds, you know, for jewelry and stuff. I like that more better because while they're doing that, they could actually do their Sith meditations and training. And it's a very kind of like, you know, personable thing where they get more in tune with the dark side of the force, which I like and I find it's much more intriguing and, and in line with what a Sith or a dark side user would be. It just sounds a little bit much more uh, uh, interesting and much more better overall. So again, they talked to about using specific types of lightsabers, Sith armor, which is like stuff from Knights of the Old Republic. A lot of cool stuff. Dark side combat using dark side powers. I love these illustrations, man. They're so good. Look at that. It's just so cool because it fits in line with the whole idea of being a Sith. And I believe, okay, the shamans. The, so this is when they start getting into the stuff, the Night Sisters, which is very cool. If you've played Jedi Fallen Order, or if you've watched my Jedi Fallen Order review, you'll know a little bit about the Night Sisters that are in here, because they're, they they make an appearance in Jedi Fallen Order, and they've ref, been referenced in other places. The history of Dathomir, which is the dark side planet for the Sith, the Sithari, and the Night Sisters. When Goddess, whole bunch of stuff, a lot of like legendary. Uh, mythological beings beast of death me including the rancor <laughs> the rancor <laughs> uh, let's keep going here nature's vigor a whole bunch of stuff a whole bunch of training again i'm skipping over a lot as you can tell there's a lot of great stuff great 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 in illustrations in here uh the science of creating life okay so there's notes by luke skywalker a whole bunch of other stuff which i'm guessing was written by somebody else other than darth uh was it Darth Sidious? And I think even Luke talks about it because it says, the element that Plagueis couldn't measure is the will of the Force. Where he's talking about, uh, was it Darth Plagueis' idea to create life? Which is interesting because, again, this is legend. They go into a little bit more detail here. Uh, I even see other, uh, what is it, signatures here, which is Asad Ventress. She, she makes some notes in here as well. Again, I wish that there was a little key or a legend here that actually uh, showed at the beginning of the book. Maybe it's at the end of the book, but who knows? This is all stuff from Darth Plagueis. A lot of the stuff that's related to the Plagueis novel that right now is still Legends, but I hope at some point Disney will bring it into canon because I feel like there's a lot of awesome storytelling there. Absolute Power by Darth Sidious, which is, I guess, his whole personal thing after he took over uh, was the Republic and it became the Empire. And then I love the banter between the characters because remember Darth Sidious got the book first so he's writing all these different things and then Luke kind of like rebuttals it at some point which is cool Coruscant under my rule Darth Bane beheld it, it in a vision but I will see it, the reality very very cool look at that Coruscant pretty sweet look this is awesome this is Darth this is Emperor Palpatine right here with the clones or B Counselor Palpatine as he wasn't once known before we had uh, all the powers in the Senate. <laughs> a lot of cool stuff, man. So there goes the different versions of Darth uh, Sidious, of Emperor Palpatine, during uh, Revenge of the Sith, during Phantom Menace, and then obviously Return of the Jedi. Very freaking cool. The Book of Anger, because Darth Vader, yeah, that, that is Darth Vader, I think. No, that's not Darth Vader, that's, some, that's Malgus. Yeah, it looked like Darth Vader for a brief second. But anyway, we're coming to the end of the book here. And like I said, there is no legend or key that says who's who which i really wish there was at the beginning of this book because that's how it was in the previous book so i would love for it to be a little consistent but who knows why they decided not to include it here maybe it could be a page missing i'm not so sure because i'm pretty sure that all the other books have stuff like that but anyway that's my look at the book of sith from chronicle books for star wars let me know your own thoughts about this. I think it's a cool book. And if you have the Jedi Path book, then it's an awesome companion with it. Like you get it as like a bundle. There's other books, of course, that have other things from Chronicle Books, which I'm going to get to at some point eventually when I pick them up. Uh, I just think that they're very cool. They're very awesome, in, in my opinion. Here we go. Here's the Jedi book, the Jedi Path, just to show you guys comparison as a, as a whole kind of like, you know, yin and yang type of thing going on. But that's my look at the Book of Sith from Chronicle Books. 
Talk to me about this down below in the comments. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And make sure you check out the playlist that I have on this channel that has all my Star Wars related videos. That has, again, anything from Star Wars games to Star Wars books and collectibles. But also check out my uh, unboxings uh, playlist and my book playlist, which I look at books like this as well as also other gaming hardcover books to, related to a whole bunch of different properties that I know you guys will love. I will talk to all of you again very soon. Peace out and stay epic, everybody. Hey, thank you everyone for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it enough to check out some of my other videos I'll list here on the side in just a moment. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel to see new content that I post up as it goes out. You can also join my Patreon for early access to new videos and exclusive content you'll only see over there. Don't forget to join my Discord server via the link in the description too. There's a lot of great people who love gaming and make an amazing community in there that I know you'll love being part of. Hope to see you again real soon. Peace out, and stay epic, everyone.